Hello, hello, hello. <laughs>
was real. You saw him. Let's welcome Cody. Why do you have these pills, Cody? I don't like to sleep. My dreams. What happens when you dream? Something's not right. I have to find out more about Cody's dreams. You've heard this before. Your son doesn't want to sleep. That little boy's dreams come true. It's an amazing, beautiful thing. What is nightmares? It's here. Dangerous. Deadly. Ask his son a few questions. No, no. Cody! We can't let him sleep. Wake up! We promise to take care of that child. say on the spotlight from you okay can i talk yes that looks pretty fucking terrifying um the fact that it's all about a kid's dreams becoming reality like he can have really good dreams and the good dreams can become reality or he can have really terrible dreams where his worst fears come to life uh that's just fucking scary as shit that if I was, if I had to take care of a kid that wasn't mine and he had those kind of dreams, I don't know if I could survive. Um, that's just fucking scary as shit. I mean, the only film that's recently been able to scare me that's been made over the past year was As Above, So Below. And I own it now. I watched it for the first time with my friend John. It scared the absolute shit out of me. But I think this one's gonna scare me as well, so I'm most likely gonna go see this film to see if it is scary. So, that's my that's my reaction. Uh, Brittany, what do you think? Well, for me, I've had the weirdest dreams ever as a child. I had dreams where, like, we'd be at a hotel, right? Me and my family. We'd all go swimming, and there was, like, this giant big red button on the wall, and it said, don't push. And, of course... Me as a little kid, I see a red button, I'm gonna push it. So I push it, and a whirlpool comes through the pool, and sharks come out, and a tornado. Yeah, I had a weird dream. So if that was my ability, my family would be screwed. Just saying. Um, I'm gonna take my boyfriend to see it, so he pees his pants. He don't like scary movies. He probably doesn't like that I said that. But oh well, it's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna take Draven to see it, and then I'm gonna see it again. And I'm probably gonna take Draven. Okay, for just just for frame of reference, we have that on fucking tape. Brittany says she's gonna take me to go see a movie. She's actually gonna hang out with me. Fucking proof right here. Second, I don't know, does he? Mr. Morgan? Well, I mean, I've never been the one for horror films. I've been mostly known for, you know, narrations and other forms of comedy, such as Bruce Almighty and Evan Almighty and... Maybe some action films such as, you know, Olympus Has Fallen and Batman The Dark Knight Rises, Dark Knight, and Batman Begins. But, you know, I've never really been into the horror types, but it's just... God damn, that fucking scared the shit out of me. That's my reaction. So, you can take the spotlight from here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, you're very, very attractive. Are you, are you gay, Mr. Freeman? No, I'm not gay. I'm Morgan Freeman. I say that to all people. Like, for instance, watch watch my, watch my this example. Mrs. Nimrin. You are a very attractive woman. Thank you. That is how I do it. This is, those are my comment, compliments to the world. I individually compliment everybody through narration. Ah, okay. Well, 
Anyways, moving on. Uh, next trailer we'll be watching is the comedy hit The Boss, starring uh, whatever her name is that she starred in, uh, uh, let's see, um, Tammy, um, Identity Thief, and uh, Bridesmaids, and this other one was Sandra Bullock. I can't remember what that one was called, though. Anyway, she's a pretty well-known actor, very well-known through comedy and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and watch the trailer for The Boss, and then we'll be back to, show, to talk to you about next week's trailer reaction. Now, and I am the wealthiest woman in America. How wealthy am I? I wanted to come down on a golden phoenix, and I sure as shit did it. I run your operation. Well, being a single mom, I deserve a pay raise. You have a child. Yeah. Was that through intercourse? Yes. I usually get kind of an asexual vibe. I never pictured it with genitals myself. You're under arrest for insider trading. Michelle, don't struggle. Son of a bitch. You're bankrupt. All your accounts have been frozen. Claire, get me a new lawyer. You don't have any money, you stupid ginger. Mom, if she doesn't have anywhere to go, she should stay here. Ha, huh, look at that. A bed and a sofa. Careful, it's a bit temperamental. It's not so bad. Oh, I think I've shattered my palace. Michelle, you need to get off the couch. Take Rachel to her dandelions meeting. Our troop came in with the $189,000. Holy shit. I object to parolees attending our meetings. If you don't get off my back, I'm going to shove a box of chocolate clusters up that tight ass of yours. What is all this? This is my way back. We are going to start a brownie empire and teach these girls real business skills. We want some good recruits. Get in there, go for the aggressive girls. I feel kind of sweaty and scared. It's just the coffee kicking in. Oh, you know what? Oh, I may have switched them. I put a little splash of bourbon in mine. My name is Michelle Darnell, and this is my partner. And I don't mean partner, like girl on girl stuff. What's girl on girl stuff? Something you're going to dabble with in college, but not stick with, not, you know? Don't tell her. Unless you're Hannah. I think it's gonna fit you like a glove. Don't call it a coup. Okay, Crystal, what do we say if somebody doesn't wanna buy? Buy my brownies or I'll kill you. Don't say that, Crystal. Hey, this is where dandelions sell. Bitch. <laughs> Ooh, that batch is burnt. That sweater just says, I give up. You're making me feel very insecure right before my date. Don't. If you could hear these sad basset hounds, they'd be saying, Claire, put us above That's your not waist. what my boobs sound like. Please don't zip me up in your jeans. Let me see this. <gasps> Claire, it's like Geppetto. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> this is... Oh my God. Okay, Melissa McCarthy. What the fuck? Oh my god, the whole Girl Scouts fucking hitting each other in the vagina is what really got me. And the fact that they're selling fucking pot brownies is another thing. Oh my god, the movies that she makes is just too great. It's, oh my god. That's my reaction. That's, I'm gonna end my reaction right fucking there. That's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, buy my brownies or I'll fucking kill you. Love it. If I was a Girl Scout, okay, I was a Girl Scout back then, but if that was my line, I probably would have got more sales than what I did. But then again, I live around a bunch of old people, like, really old people. So they probably would have just called the cops. And, um, you know What I have to say is this woman, Mrs. Melissa McCarthy, 
she's not as nearly as funny as me with my sarcastic jokes and my narrations. I must say this first. But most importantly, I find the humor of Girl Scouts kicking the shit out of each other senselessly in a parking lot to be very hilarious. Especially when they're selling pot brownies. Now you see, I have a tendency to buy a lot of pot brownies every day. Every time I wake up, I take a big bunch of brownies and I feed them to my cats. Thinking that maybe they'll find humor out of this sense of humor of puking all over my fucking carpet. But you know, that's just me. I like to see my cats suffer from being too high and eating too many brownies every day. Well, um... Thank you for sharing that, Mr. Freeman. Um... That's, uh... How is playing, uh... Um... DayZ going? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, I, I met a man the other day... He was shot me in the head because I was looking for a can of beans. Uh huh. Well, anyways, back to <laughs> Trailer Box. So, thank you guys for watching this session of Trailer Box once again. I forgot to mention that even though we record on Mondays, we will only have the uploads available maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday, depending on the time it takes me to edit these videos. Which isn't hard, but it, it do tend to make it much more perfect than what it should be. So, by. Thursday is what I'm going to aim for when this video should be up, so I'm going to start editing it tonight, and we'll see where it goes from here, but next week, I'm choosing these movies this time, next week, we will be watching the trailers for the Lego Batman movie, and Neighbors 2. The second trailer, not the first trailer, because the second trailer is so much more fucking hilarious. So, thank you guys for watching, this has been the Crows 119, Morgan Freeman, and saying, have a good day.